Hi, Michael Brown again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. We've been discussing Bridge, the editing and sorting program that allows you to easily find the best images from a collection of images that you have photographed. Once you pick your best images, now you have two options. You can open them up directly into Photoshop to work on them, or you can take an intermediate step and open them up into first Camera Raw, which is a separate program within Photoshop that allows you to do preliminary non-destructive edits to your pictures. And if it's just general, you can actually save them out directly from there. So in this lesson, we are going to look at what is RAW and JPEG, and what is Camera Raw. And then I'm going to show you an example that really illustrates the difference between shooting with a JPEG or shooting with a RAW file. So let's get started. In this page right here, I define the differences between JPEG and RAW. Let's start with the JPEG image. Most inexpensive digital cameras today shoot in a file format, and a file format is the way the camera saves the data from the sensor so that you can utilize it in Photoshop and make prints or put it on the web. A JPEG is a compression format which takes the data and it compresses it down to create a smaller file size to save space, but to do so it throws away a little bit of data because it is what's called a lossy compression format. And when it throws that data away, when the computer reopens the image to work on it, it has to fake it to fill in the empty spots. Now, this is not a bad thing because it pulls from the data immediately around the empty spaces and does a pretty good job with it. As long as your camera from the beginning is set at the highest quality JPEG and the largest size to give you the maximum number of pixels, there will be very little difference between the opened JPEG and an opened RAW file. The biggest difference is that when you shoot the image with your camera, no matter whether you make any internal camera corrections or not, the camera will automatically apply some corrections to a JPEG. And it typically applies color correction, exposure correction, sharpening, and contrast, as well as sometimes it will do some lens correction. Now, you think this is a great thing, and it is. It depends on the amount of detail and the amount of sophistication that you want to put into what you're working on. If you're doing a professionally grade image, in Photoshop, you'll probably want to shoot RAW where you get all of your data. If you're doing this just to get a great picture or to put it up on the internet, JPEGs are fine. Very little difference. The biggest difference is in the range of data in the two images. JPEG has a kind of a squished color space and RAW has a very wide range allowing you to get much more detail. I'll show you this as we move along. 